So the Diablo 4 devs recently posted on Twitter that they'll have this campfire chat, examining feedback from the Diablo 4 community. And uh, I have gathered some feedback that I have found from the internet, namely Reddit. So in Diablo 4, there's a clear meta in each class where there's one skill outshining all the others in terms of strength, of course. Uh, this post right here by Julian Dark on Reddit, it is on softcore statistics revealing the dominance of a single skill in each class, mostly. Many members of the community, <laughs> myself included, agree that rather than nerfing these strong skills, it would be more enjoyable to just buff the underutilized ones. After all, it's fun just killing all these monsters with the skills of our choosing. <laughs> rather than just conforming to the mainstream meta that everyone's doing. The issue of mob density has been a hot topic in Reddit and I think also in the Discord server. Um, currently, with any build, the experience of like killing 5 monsters and then running another 100 meters to kill the next pack of 5 monsters it's not fun, it's not fun. Although, the recent nerf to that dungeon, the Eridu spot, I have a video on my channel, you can check the link below. It was necessary to nerf that spot because it would stem from the lackluster experience that nightmare dungeons are. These nightmare dungeons did not only less experience, but they also have inferior drops and also the rewards when you kill the final boss, it fails to guarantee that ancestral that we need, which rightly should give you an ancestral if you're in tier 4. These nightmare dungeons should not only offer better loot compared to the regular dungeons, but they should also have a higher mob density. It's supposed to be nightmare. What what a what are we trying to experience here? A nightmare of walking? It's supposed to be a nightmare of being overwhelmed by monsters. There's just that thrill, there's that fun when you're effortlessly mowing down all these enemies. There's hordes of them. Especially if you get the arsenal shrine. Ooh, you're just <laughs> killing everything in your wake, basically. So another event that requires this mob density boost is the hell tides. Right now it just feels more of a hell trickle, <laughs> gotta say. It's advertised like hell is attacking sanctuary. You gotta help out, kill some demons. But really it's kind of the same story as earlier where you're killing five packs of monsters here. Get on your horse, move a hundred meters or so and kill another five pack. It's very unrewarding very not fun kind of stuff. Uh, there's a user on reddit, um, Rodent SFPC. He says that he he thinks that we're winning the war against hell because he can't really see any more mobs or the mob density is so uh, little <laughs> that he thinks we're winning the war and we'll be it will be over by the next weekend. So increasing the mob density during hell tides you can also reduce the drop of aberrant cinders and guarantee a legendary item from the chest would make this event better, more fun, more rewarding. And then there's also that bug kickstart, I, I don't know how to say the name, but he should guarantee, or it should guarantee a legendary reward due to the challenge. <laughs> it takes forever to kill this bug and then just ends up giving you a yellow sacred. So the Diablo 4 community has been becoming increasingly vocal about the absence of a party finder system. Um, Diablo 2 even had a party finder system where the host could open up a game that titled the game would be whatever he wants to be doing, either farming, trading, PvP. There was a Reddit post that I saw by uh, Accident Pedo, which reminded me that even Diablo 2 had a party finder system. Also, Diablo 3 also had a party finder system where you can choose between story mode, adventure mode, if you want to do rifts, be farming keys and whatnot. 
putting one in Diablo 4 would greatly enhance the multiplayer experience. I I uh, I just got to 86 and I haven't really partied with anyone yet or done any quest with anyone. Yeah, the multiplayer experience in this has been lackluster. So another aspect that needs improvement would be the inventory or the stash space. Having only four stash tabs is ridiculous. I think it would be reasonable if we had 10, at least 10. And there's also concern in the community that it might become a future microtransaction. Uh, that's what will happen to these tabs. There's th because of that issue of inventory management. You know, there's there's the jewels which takes takes up about as much as a body armor. <laughs> a lot of players have been saying that they need a separate jewel bag, like the same for the com consumables, same for quest items, same for the aspects. There's a Reddit user insert disc eleven. It shared an image where at least there's three additional stash spaces or rows. Then it was just sacrificed for this design. That's like a skull in a bow, and it's entirely unusable. The design choice is just poor. And lastly, the greed shrine. I saw a post about this this morning and they are saying that it requires a buff. <laughs> Currently it just offers like a temporary movement speed boost, that's that's what it is. Um, the gold, I think it needs a buff. The gold, it's less than just one item. If you pick up like one yellow from the ground and sell it on the store, it's more gold than what a greed shrine will give you. People are saying on the comments that they should provide more gold or even an experience boost with the Great Shrine. So by buffing these underused skills, improving mob density, possibly implementing a party finder system, and expanding that stash space, inventor space, the game can cater to a wider range of players. Not just hardcore, not just softcore or casual players. We can all enjoy the game. It's gonna be more satisfying. It's gonna be more immersive gaming experience. You know what I say is the game is good, but it can be truly outstanding. It has the potential to be outstanding.